Hey everyone, this is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and uh, we're here in Hyderabad, India, for the Sangam uh, 19 conference. And I'm here with Aparna and Jeffrey. Hi, hi guys, how you doing? Hey Jim, good, good, all good. How are you? I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm doing great. It's been a great experience. It's my first Sangam here, so I really enjoy the crowd over here. Yeah, it's been it's been a really good conference. There's been a lot of activity in there, and um, so you guys and I were talking a little bit earlier. You actually had a session earlier today on machine learning, That's right? True. Um, so let's start off there. Tell, so tell me about machine learning. Okay, I, I think machine learning is not a new field. It has been in the in this uh, th in this form only now uh, earlier it was very much popular in terms of data mining because a similar kind of algorithms that we use in data mining around 10 years back regression classification clustering everything has now been involved evolved and then you know named as machine learning and machine learning is not only in one area i think it's one field that you can apply across the fields and still reap huge benefits out of it. So our session was predominantly on how to use uh, machine learning, how to build machine learning using Oracle ADW, that is Autonomous Database and Oracle Analytics Cloud to do sentiment analytics because it's equally important for people to know that how, the, how their product are faring. What has been the sentiment, be it Trump's election, be it Modi's election, be it any new product launch or be it Tesla's cyber truck, <laughs> anything, right? So if you talk about that, everything is driven by sentiment and people and companies are eager to know into to dive deep into this particular field and get, you know, what the customers are talking about. How are they actually perceiving our product? What are the things where we need to improve upon? So everything revolves around that. So machine learning. In that, we had a small part of sentiment analytics that we talked about today because 45 minutes is a very less time yeah. to talk about that. So when you guys present jointly, how do you split up the content? Do you speak and then you speak? Do you go back and forth? How do you do that as a, as a team? It was quite an uh, you know, uh, interactive uh, session, I would say. So Jeffy and I were alternating. Uh, like, for example, I covered b basically the concepts part of it, the taxonomy of uh, sentiment analytics algorithms, the classification part. And uh, Je uh, Jeffy took them over the demo that we have worked on, uh, the end-to-end -end working model of it. Probably yeah. Jeffy can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, so I walk them through how we use social media in Oracle's autonomous database and, you know, Oracle Analytics Cloud, you know, uh, to do the machine learning that Apuna was talking about and get insight. So, you know, we, we all use social media everywhere. Even this video is going to go up on YouTube, which is social media. And we have Twitter, we have Facebook, you know, uh, we have so, so many forms of social media that we are consuming a lot. And, you know, uh, we can make more sense out of it and we can get better insights out of it in order to make our life better. So that's what we've shown using Oracle, and you know that's what I think will change the world. So what what was the reaction in the session in terms of the developers in the audience? What was the give and take? Yeah, so uh, most of the developers were really interested uh, in our uh, demo. So actually, some of them had already worked on machine learning before, and some of them had left it in between. And now that you know Oracle has its integrated machine learning, they've decided to you know uh, recontinue their machine learning processes that they are, that they had started off, and you know they're looking forward to more such things. Cool. Yeah, th th that's true. Basically, I couldn't agree more to Jeffy because uh, the audience were quite thrilled to you know about that, uh, how the algorithms work using Oracle machine learning and autonomous database and uh, analytics cloud. And within few minutes, how can you develop your own model? So audience were very much uh, excited about, you know, our talk and we found the response pretty good. Yeah. They were uh, asking questions uh, even after that as well. And, you know, some of them have will be reaching out to us on LinkedIn and probably on our respective email addresses to get the questions answered. You mentioned something interesting just there in the sense of in a few minutes you can do X, Y, and Z. And one of the things I'm, I'm learning in these conversations is some of these things that I thought took a long time or that took was more, was, you know, complex. The tools that you guys are using now actually enables you to, you know, implement something very, very quickly. That's absolutely true, Jim. I mean, uh, very true. In this era and with uh, Oracle's uh, latest products that are being uh, circulated in the market and with Larry's announcement last year in the open world, I mean, or Oracle Open World 19, that autonomous database uh, is going to be free, at least to some extent for the student community and for uh, trial version. So for that perspective, basically, yes, there are a lot of tools available to quickly automate the solutions, bring better results to the table, 
have the companies you know strategic uh, decisions aligned accordingly and then uh, you know enter into the market and it also means that there's th these tools are so advanced now it's more opportunity for developers to create new things yes, right yes yes yeah. yes so you know now what has happened is a lot of the uh, you know complexity has been reduced as you rightly mentioned so now it's all about you know you just identify what model you need you just uh, drag and drop it for example in OAC you just select your model you just tune a few parameters and then boom you have your machine learning algorithm ready ready to predict the future so that, that's how advanced technology has become you know it, it's a simple drag and drop for you to get insights out of your data and uh, you know that's what Oracle has been really doing well and I think we should continue doing that. I think, you know, uh, dragging and dropping algorithm is definitely, you know, a good part of it and it uh, eases the user accessibility to, towards any kind of machine learning model building. But what matters most is, you know, understanding the concepts. If I'm implementing, let's say, supervised machine learning, if I'm implementing classification or if I'm implementing, let's say, logistic regression, what does the individual values mean? What does the ROC curve mean? What if, if it goes straight? So more than that the developers also need to accommodate and absorb that knowledge that if my r square value is coming as let's say some you know 0.78 what does that mean what will happen if i increase that value what will happen if i get a decreased value of r square how does it all correlate to each other what is multicollinearity so yes we are i mean oracle as an organization has been helping the developers to instead of writing the you know 10 line of uh, 10 line of code you can just simply drag and drop and then get the model built but what is more important is in what context are you using one thing second is if you are using that in a right context, then how, if you tune the param, if you tu uh, tweak the parameters, what kind of uh, changes will it bring to the model? So that is also very important. Interesting. Okay. So what are you guys, actually, where are you based? We are based out of Bangalore. Bangalore. Okay. Both of you. Okay. Yes. And is this the first time you've been at Sangam or you, or you come here often? You no, know, if this you, is you, the if first time. Uh, we are here at Sangam, and uh, our session got selected, and uh, you know we have the we have got the opportunity to be here, and uh, you know it, it has been a thrilling experience so far. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get to now is the conference in the sense of um, it's been very dynamic. There's been a lot of a lot of people, a lot of conversations, and what I notice is that there's a lot of. Um, in each session, there's a lot of interaction in the sessions, not only in the hallways, that's frantic, but actually in the sessions, a lot of give and take. Uh, what do you think about that? Yes, uh, de definitely. I mean, the audience, uh, the kind, because now the audience is also very much aware. Like we are aware that, okay, this particular technology is coming, this particular tool is coming, and we are going to talk about that. But similarly, you know, the uh, our audience is also very much, you know, aware of what is going on. So no one can just go and talk about unilaterally. It has to be a bilateral discussion and they have to also understand and they do understand. So it's an enriching experience equally for both, uh, both the parties. I mean, uh, audience as well as speakers. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, being curious has never been a bad thing and, you know, that's what we came to know through our session. So, you know, even even if there are people who didn't know about it, they were really curious and they had a lot of questions and, you know, they're going to be reaching out to us soon so that we're going to be helping them, uh, you know, uh, on how to uh, step into the right path and, you know, how they can proceed in this field of machine learning. So, you know, that's something that's really great about uh, Sangam because it brings together different people. It, uh, you know, uh, poses new questions to us as, uh, you know, speakers or, you know, presenters you know we we get a lot of new ideas new discussions and that's something that's that's really a great thing about being a part of this so is, is this something that you guys do as a part of your job regularly you go out and do these talks at various conferences yeah so uh, i mean my role has been uh, from the analytics perspective i lead the bangalore cloud solutions hub analytics team out of uh, bangalore location as i said and uh, I, I mean, I have been going to conferences and then I have also been invited to various colleges basically to express my views on arti how artificial intelligence uh, has been impacting the employment landscape, then how the machine learning models have been, uh, uh, you know, revolutionizing industry 4.0 or uh, be it, uh, you know, sentiment uh, analytics, the social media impact. So, yes, this has been a part of this thing. And uh, even, uh, you know, in our day to day uh, 
job uh, routine we go on developing models and we go in anything any problem that comes to us we, we take it with a new zeal and then we do the end to end solution we do so of late we have been also working on the crime prediction uh, wherein uh, the image processing was involved using deep learning so that also we have done using like criminals image you can identify i mean the police department can identify that okay these are the prospective you know and and their activity as well these are the prospective uh, prospective candidates for the uh, for a for right. listed at you right. know criminals yeah. <laughs> okay so what's up next for you guys after this conference uh, as of now you know we are looking forward to other conferences like uh, and and all yeah. uh, so we'll uh, see if uh, that uh, you know yeah. the things yeah. are uh, there we have the analytics and data summit coming up you know in february so that's happening in redwood shows i believe and you know uh, one of our, both of our papers have actually been selected over there you know along with rana joy so you know it'll be a great experience if we get to go there and uh, once again meet meet a lot of new people uh, have a lot of new discussions and ideas so i i think it's great that oracle holds all of these conferences as all these user groups and it's not just here in india it's all, it's all over the world like we have nyoug aoug we have so many groups so that's a that's a great thing to be part of so the paper there uh, that what i'm going to speak over there i mean uh, if uh, everything uh, goes fine i'm going to turn, i'm going to speak about that how to remove uh, gender bias and stereotype from artificial intelligence because if you see by default if you call a nurse what comes to your mind it comes a woman but if you call a driver by default what comes to your mind it's a male figure that comes how to remove that kind of gender if you see even alexa why has it been you know given a female voice if you see you know hercules or atlas those robots why they have been given a female uh, male name so you know these kind of uh, things so that's a very interesting topic and it's an ever evolving thing it's never going to end i i think so i at least have what i perceive so yeah yeah you know so it would be interesting to talk about on that all right well guys thank you very much for coming by appreciate it and have a good rest of the you know show for the next few hours and uh, we'll be back here for another couple of interviews for another couple of interviews i'm getting tired so i'm thank <laughs> you so much jim it was <laughs> Uh, it was extremely you know a privilege and a pleasure for us interacting with you and then getting the getting you know to share our insights with you so thank you so much yeah. and uh, keep inspiring us <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you take care we'll bye. see you guys soon bye bye now